Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to find a resource in the Unit 4 ERP. As you can see, I've got the system open and I'm looking at the menu items. Your screen may look different depending on your levels of access. But to find a resource, I'm going to come to the menu here on the left hand side of the screen and I'm going to go and click on the word personnel. When I click on this screen, it opens up the personnel menu and you can see it's split between different panes. And if I scroll down, you can see more panes of information, each with lists and links to different things. I'm going to stay in the personnel pane and find the personnel link in the menu. And I'm going to click on that, which will open up a new window for me. And the tab here is called personnel. <clears throat> and when it opens up, you will see some empty cells. There's no data relating to any employee in these uh, resource in these cells. And you can see words along the top here which are greyed out. So the question at this point is, how do I find a resource in this system? Well, there are a number of ways. I will show you them all. So one thing I can do is just press on the space bar and it immediately brings up a list of employees in this system, which I could scroll down through and select a resource if I wanted to look at them. But if you've got lots of resources, that may not be a good way to do it. So the other thing you can do is type the resource number. <clears throat> the resource numbers might um, be slightly different to what you see here, depending on how your organization set them up. But if I start to type, you can see the system starts to predict um, different resource numbers in the system which it will then uh, I can then select um, and it will bring up on screen. But again, you may not know the resource. So uh, finally, um, you can look up the resource using the employee's name or the person's name, which I think is possibly the best way to do it. So if I just type in the name Joe, then this system will predict and try to find me um, names that contain those two letters and it's found two in this particular system. So I'm going to look at John. So I'll click on John and then I will tab out of this screen and it will bring up John's data for me to see. And the other thing you will notice is that these words along the top, uh, which are actually in fact tabs, are no longer greyed out. Um, so let's just talk through all of these. So the resource tab that we're looking at gives you some basic information about John. Start, end date, birth date, his gender and his marital status. The contact information tab gives addresses that are linked to, John, to John's record. The relations tab shows a whole host of information um, relating to John, which we can explain in another video. Payment information is what you'd expect. It's John's bank details and how he gets paid. The next tab, it relates to payroll information. So you can see here UK tax um, and national insurance information used in the PAYE calculation. The next tab is John's um, employment, so the job that John's in, and we'll explain that in another video. And then the final tab that I'm going to cover is personnel, which just has some standard other fields relating to John. The tabs that you see after that are specific to your system, so I won't cover them, cover them in this video, but I hope that was useful. Thank you.